Hello everyone, I'm Sean Vandeveen, a Canadian citizen born and raised, and in this video, I'd like to share my experience and knowledge of living in the magnificent country of Canada. I consider myself lucky to live in such a prosperous, diverse, multicultural, and wealthy nation that is consistently ranked year after year among, among the best in the world to live in. A little about me, I was born in Halifax, Nova Scotia, but have lived in Ontario for most of my life. I've also spent several years living in Alberta, particularly in Spruce Grove, just west of Edmonton. I'm filming this video for those planning to visit or immigrate to Canada, or anyone who is just interested in learning more about it, so you can understand our quality of life from a Canadian's point of view. But what I'll also say is this, I encourage everyone who watches this to explore the perspectives of others on YouTube, whether Canadian, American, European, or Asian. In this video, I will simply share my own insights into living in the Great White North. So pull up a chair, get into the Canadian spirit, and enjoy this presentation. In Canada, we enjoy government-subsidized healthcare, originating from a politician from Saskatchewan by the name of Tommy Douglas. He proposed free health care for all while Premier of Saskatchewan in the 1960s. And it wasn't long before then Prime Minister Pierre Elliott Trudeau applied the concept feder federally. We have world-class universities such as the University of Toronto, McGill, McMaster and Western. Every year hundreds of thousands of immigrants from all over the world choose Canada as their new home and for excellent reason. This is one of the most stable countries in the world. Major cities such as Toronto, Montreal, and Vancouver offer economic opportunities and high quality education. And compared to most other countries, Canada is safe in terms of crime. As a kid growing up in Spruce Grove, Alberta, every time I went to West Edmonton Mall, it filled me with excitement. Did you know that West Edmonton Mall used to be the largest mall in the world? It held that position for many years until competition from overseas overtook it. I recall riding on the fast rides of Fantasyland, swimming in the large indoor water park, and riding in the indoor submarines. That part of Alberta is always very cold during the winter time. West Edmonton Mall was built as a means of escape for the city's residents. In 1987, I moved to Ontario, which is where I lived ever since. I've now seen most communities in, in the southwestern part, and I've made my own videos featuring them. I encourage you to check those out by clicking on my playlist. Some of my favorite areas for regular visits are Niagara Falls and Toronto. The CN Tower offers a panoramic view of downtown Toronto and Lake Ontario, and one can even see into New York State on a clear day. There's upscale shopping along Yonge Street, the longest street in the world, stretching 56 kilometers, particularly at the Eaton Center. Sometimes I wish the fan Phantom of the Opera was still playing what was once the Pantages Theatre. That was my favorite live musical production. Canada shares the world's longest undefended border with the United States, and the two are quite interdependent economically on one another. Trade and tourism are paramount to both economies. It's very common for Canadians to go same-day shopping in Buffalo, New York, and I myself recall visiting the Galleria a couple of times during the early 90s. I'll admit, there's much more selection of brands on the American side than there is here, but I still enjoy everything Canadian retail chains have to offer, such as Winners, HomeSense, Shoppers Drug Mart, and The Bay. And nothing beats Tim Hortons coffee. For many who want to enjoy the comforts of France, Quebec is the next best alternative. Montreal feels much like any other city in North America, only in French. In my mid-twenties, I traversed through Rue Sainte-Catherine. The word Rue is French for street. Uh, Rue Saint-Urbain and Rue Saint-Denis. And Quebec City is a well-preserved gem from the 17th century. To this day, it has the only walled city center on the continent. It's expensive, but I highly recommend spending a night in the Chateau Frontenac 
the hotel dominating the city skyline. Canada has also produced some of the world's greatest entertainers. The rock group The Tragically Hip has left an unforgettable mark upon the music scene, with hits such as Blow It High Dough, At The Hundredth Meridian, and Fifty Mission Cap. Other Hall of Fame mu musicians from this great land include Atlantis Morissette, Brian Adams, Rush, Stompin' Tom Connors, and Drake. Canada is also the birthplace of actors Jim Carrey, William Shatner, Martin Short, Ryan Reynolds, Dan Aykroyd, and John Candy. My favorite one is Jim Carrey. In fact, I enjoyed impersonating some of his material in high school. We may be living through uncertain times. However, those of you considering moving here, Canada is a safe haven. You can pursue your dreams and enjoy the freedom of expression, thought, and conscience guaranteed by the Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Canada is a strong advocate for peace and stability, and we will defend freedom and democracy for everyone who believes in it. I love this land, and I will spend the rest of my life here. Just like the motto, the motto of Molson Canadian Beer, I am Canadian! So, this has been my brief personal story of living in Canada. Be sure to check out more of my content, particularly my travel videos, if you want to discover more of this country. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, comment, and click on that subscribe button. I appreciate all the love and support from you viewers. So, I'll just close by saying peace, much love, and namaste. Thank you for watching. Be safe and kind to one another, and oh Canada!